the rise and fall of the Roman Empire. The founding of Rome is steeped in legend and destiny, marking the beginning of a civilization that would shape the world. According to myth, twin brothers Romulus and Remus, descendants of a Trojan prince, established the city, with Romulus becoming its first king. In its early republic phase, Rome developed a complex political system, balancing power between the Senate, the assemblies, and magistrates. This framework laid the foundation for Roman governance, enabling the city-state to manage its affairs internally and navigate external threats. Rome's military innovations and strategic expansions were unparalleled, allowing it to dominate the Italian peninsula. The Roman legions, with their rigorous training and advanced tactics, became a formidable force, systematically bringing neighboring territories under Roman control. The Punic Wars, a series of three conflicts between Rome and Carthage, were pivotal in establishing Rome's supremacy in the Mediterranean. These wars, especially the second, highlighted Rome's resilience and strategic brilliance, culminating in the destruction of Carthage and Rome's rise as a dominant power. Cultural assimilation played a crucial role in Rome's expansion. By integrating conquered lands and peoples, Rome managed to maintain control over vast territories, spreading its influence and laying the groundwork for a unified empire under Roman rule. Julius Caesar played a crucial role in the transformation from republic to empire. His audacious leadership and reforms paved the way for a centralized power structure, marking the end of the Roman Republic and the dawn of a new imperial era. Under Augustus, Rome witnessed the establishment of the Pax Romana, a period of unprecedented peace and stability. His adept governance laid the foundational structures of the Roman Empire, ensuring its prosperity and security for generations to come. The empire's zenith was characterized by economic prosperity, with wealth flowing into Rome from all corners of the known world. This era of abundance facilitated cultural and architectural advancements, showcasing the empire's dominance and sophistication. Architectural marvels from this period, like the Colosseum and the Pantheon, remain symbols of Roman grandeur. These projects not only demonstrated Rome's architectural prowess, but also its ability to organize and execute large-scale constructions, further cementing its legacy. The spread of Roman law and the Latin language across the empire helped unify the diverse territories under a common cultural and legal framework. This unification was instrumental in maintaining the cohesion and identity of the empire, despite its vastness and diversity. Christianity's journey from a persecuted sect to the official religion of the Roman Empire is a testament to its resilience and appeal. Under Constantine's rule, Christianity not only found acceptance but also patronage, marking a significant shift in religious and societal norms. The empire's military ambition stretched its resources thin, signaling the onset of decline. As Rome extended its reach, the costs soared and the returns diminished. This overextension strained the empire's economy and exposed vulnerabilities, making it difficult to maintain control over its vast territories. Political corruption eroded the foundations of Roman governance, weakening the Senate's influence. This decay in the political system undermined stability and efficiency, paving the way for power struggles that distracted the empire from its external threats and internal management. Barbarian invasions added external pressure, challenging Rome's borders and security. These invasions were not just military confrontations, but also migrations of peoples, pushing against the empire's frontiers, seeking settlement within its territories, and further straining Rome's resources. The decision to divide the empire aimed to make governance more manageable, but ultimately led to disparate fortunes. The East flourished, capitalizing on its wealth and strategic position, while the West faltered under economic and military pressures, marking the beginning of its decline. Economic decline in the Roman Empire was marked by rampant inflation and deteriorating leadership. As the empire expanded, maintaining and administering its vast territories became increasingly challenging. The once robust infrastructure, crucial for military and economic operations, began to falter under financial strains. 
The sack of Rome by the Visigoths in 410 AD was a devastating blow, symbolizing the vulnerability of an empire once deemed invincible. This event was not just a physical plundering, but also a significant psychological defeat for Rome, shaking the foundations of Roman confidence and security. Romulus Augustulus, the last Roman emperor, witnessed the end of the Western Roman Empire. His deposition in 476 AD marked the conclusion of centuries of Roman dominance in the Western world, leaving a power vacuum that would shape the future of Europe. Despite the fall of its Western half, the Eastern Roman Empire, later known as Byzantium, managed to preserve and transform the legacy of Rome. It became a beacon of stability and cultural preservation, lasting for another millennium until the fall of Constantinople in 1453. The enduring legacy of Roman law, culture, and infrastructure is evident in modern civilizations. From legal systems and architectural principles to languages and artistic expressions, the imprints of Rome's grandeur continue to influence various aspects of contemporary life, underscoring the timeless relevance of its achievements and failures. The enduring fascination with Rome's rise and fall captivates audiences in literature and film, serving as a timeless subject that explores the complexities of human nature, power, and the consequences of ambition. This cultural obsession underscores the universal appeal of Rome's storied history, reflecting on both its grand achievements and catastrophic failures. Lessons from the Roman Empire illuminate the dynamics of power and the inevitable cycle of empires, offering a mirror to contemporary societies on the importance of governance, military strategy, and cultural integration. These historical insights provide valuable perspectives on leadership, resilience, and the potential pitfalls of overextension and moral decay.